I was entirely wrong. My prediction yesterday was terrible. Not even close to what the score would be at the final of this game. Seattle loses 28-12 in prime time on Sunday night football against the Los Angeles Rams. Seattle falls to 10-3 on the year, and the Rams will move to 8-5 on the season. I predicted that Seahawks would win this game 31-21, and I guess I got somebody's score a little bit correct, and that was the Rams. Seattle's, man, flip the numbers if they would have made the, that extra point from Jason Myers, but Seattle was dominated. They had no chance from just about the first half when it was finished. It, was, it looked like it was over. It looked like the Rams just wanted this football game a lot more than the Seahawks wanted it. Seattle started off quick. Got a quick three points, started their first drive, ran the ran the ball well, got a couple good receptions, kicked a field goal. Things are looking really good for Seattle. But then the next play or the next drive for the Rams, they come out and score a touchdown, and they had all open lanes. Every single drive for that offense for the Rams at the very beginning of the game was open. Seattle was playing his own coverage, and it just really did not work out well for them. There are so many pockets open in coverage. And just in the wrong spots at the wrong time, Rams balled out on offense. Played a good game. I remember predicting this game and saying that if Seattle was to win this game, they would need four good quarters of football. They did not do that. They didn't even have really one good quarter of football. I think maybe the third quarter was their best quarter, and it only accumulated six points. The reason of why that happened, the offense just did not play to their potential. They weren't playing Like the Seattle Seahawks offense has played all season long, led by Russell Wilson, Chris Carson, and CJ Procise, or excuse me, not Procise, Rashad Penny getting into the mix and then working together and just moving the football. As we know, on the first drive, I believe it was, Rashad Penny was hurt. On a 16-yard reception, it was great, great catch. Unfortunately, he landed on his ACL or his his leg and he had an ACL sprain. Not sure how long he's going to be out. But that's going to be a tough loss because we saw the offense really wasn't the same without him. That double threat was was really something mustering up good numbers for the Seattle Seahawks offense. So Seattle just didn't play a good game of football. Rams, give it to them. They won this football game much more than the Seahawks did, which deservedly so. They are 8-5 and five now. They're in the wild card spot. They're, in, they're getting closer and closer to that wild card spot and really reclaiming that throne. And so... They obviously really needed this victory. So good job to the Rams. They played well. They played four quarters of good football, minus the third quarter, but it really didn't matter. They had a considerable lead that gave them the victory at the end of the game. So what went wrong for Seattle? Why did they lose this football game? Well, my biggest thing that I would say as to why they lost this football game was the offense couldn't get really anything going. The offense from the very beginning started out really well, and then they didn't score any points the rest of the game. That was rough to see. You know, they scored a field goal, but okay, fourth quarter. The defense scored half the points, and it just was not a good game of football. Nobody was getting open. There wasn't the greatest. I mean, the pass protection seemed like it was somewhat there. I mean, there was a couple breaks in coverage and what, or a couple breaks in the pass protection, but overall, just the Seattle offense just did not play well at all. I the, Let's just get into it. So third quarter. Seattle Seahawks start off the second half with a pick six. Great start to the second half. They're down 21-9, error, or they're down 21-9, and then point after attempt. Jason Myers misses it. Okay, no big deal. Quandre Diggs picked up the interception, pick six. Awesome addition to the Seahawks defense. So the Seattle's off to a pretty good start for the second half. They're looking like they might muster a comeback. Then the next drive comes, and it is another pick. This time by Quandre Diggs. Seattle Seahawks offense gets on the field and they go for a dismal three and out. So momentum went to Seattle from the defense. They're doing their job and the offense gets on the field to just walk on and walk off because they couldn't really get anything going. All right, no big deal. We're about seven minutes left in the third quarter. So now Rams get the football. Jared Goff leads the team a little bit down the field and... Get him into field goal range. The drive sputtered out. They started around the 50. Defense stepped up again. And then we're sitting at the 33-yard field goal attempt, 34-yard field goal attempt, somewhere around there. And it is blocked. So Seahawks are looking really good on defense. They're pulling their weight. They're doing their job. Offense gets on the field. Nothing. 
So as you can see, the common theme of this football game is the Seattle Seahawks offense could not get going. And that's just, you got to give all credit to the Rams. The Rams played a better game of football. They're the better team on this on this field. They wanted it more. They played harder. Robert Woods, my goodness, the start of the game, he had five catches in like the first quarter. He was balling out. The Rams wanted it more. And they definitely earned this victory. I'm interested to see how the Rams look out from here. I know that they play the, I believe it is the Niners one more time. So that should be an interesting game. We'll see how that works out for them. But overall, this was a, a great game by the Rams. A not so great game by the Seattle Seahawks. It was a, a tough one for sure. It should be interesting to see, though, where the Seahawks and the Rams both go from here. I think the Seahawks do have a more easily favored schedule in the sense that they face the Panthers next week on the road. They pay, face the Arizona Cardinals, and then they close out with the Niners. So as much as they have fallen out of that first spot, in the NFC West and number one seed, they are still well within their own driver's seat in the sense that if they went out, they will get that number one seed in the NFC West no matter what the Niners do because they will be facing the Niners in the last game. Now, it isn't to say that they can do that. After the performance that the Seahawks had in this football game, I wouldn't by any means put them as a favorite to win that football game. But I think that this game is going to teach them character. It's going to teach them that, you know what, they aren't perfect and they have areas they need to improve in. Hopefully, Seattle Seahawks' Pete Carroll head coach can really do a good job of making adjustments. Brian Schottenheimer, you know, I just think they got outcoached. They got outplayed, and that's a good way for them to recognize, you know what? We needed a heat check, and we obviously aren't maybe as hot as we thought we were or as great as we thought we were, but that gives them the opportunity to grow, to learn, and to possibly do better in the future. I'm excited to see what the rest of the season looks like. It's going to be a bit of a difficult road, not too difficult for the Seahawks. I mean, they are looking really well in the driver's seat to get in the playoffs. They win a game, they're in. But at the same time, it is definitely going to be a little bit more difficult for the Seahawks if they don't win next week, which I'm not saying they won't, but the Panthers are no easy team. Seattle, every time they play them, they've had a rough time. Every time they played the Cardinals, they've had a rough time. Rams, Niners, you get the story. You've been a fan of the Seahawks. You know they're going to have tough times no matter what the record is for the other team. So we'll see how, how it looks. Good job to the Rams. Good job on breaking my prediction and just blowing it out the water. My prediction went nowhere but straight into the drain because, man, I was off by a landslide. Good job by the Rams. They played a great game of football. They were victorious 28-12. to I want to thank you so much for watching this Seattle Seahawks review. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment, and possibly subscribe if you are new here and click that notification button to know when I post. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.